welcome to java forum now i am going to show you how to install oe schema that is order entry schema in oracle database 21c enterprise edition so uh, this is my oracle database 21c home that is the base directory okay so in home directory demo schema okay so under this only i extracted the uh, oracle database uh, sample schemas for 21.1 okay db sample schemas 21.1 contents are extracted here only okay this directory only under oracle home demo uh, schema directory okay so among that we are going to see order entry schema so we are going to see how to install order entry schema so these are the sql files for order entry schema okay so in this SQL file, uh, oe underscore main dot SQL. So this is the starting point of our render schema. Uh, so we need to execute this file first. Okay. So in this file, you can see that I have replaced the string sub underscore cwd with absolute path. So make sure that you have replaced the uh, sub underscore cwd with the absolute path uh, in all the SQL files wherever it is necessary. Okay. And also, I want to show you one more. See, I have deleted the object IDs for the type. Okay, so I have deleted the object type, object IDs for the uh, create type scripts. Okay, so this is optional only. If you did not face any issues due to object IDs, means you can leave as it is. If you face uh, issue uh, related to object IDs, means you can delete that uh, object IDs. Okay. So now I am going to show you uh, TNS name that over a file. So TNS name that over a file, you can see that uh, I have added the entry for ORCL PDB pluggable database entry. Okay. So what is the advantage uh, is I can able to log in directly uh, in SQL plus. Okay. So restart the Oracle listener service. If you have touched the TNS name that over a file, Okay, then only all the configuration will take into effect. Okay, now let me go to SQL Plus. Okay, so now I am uh, logging to the container database. Okay, checking whether all pluggable databases are up and running. Okay, make sure that uh, your pluggable database is up and running in read write mode. Okay, then only you can install the schemas. Now come back to Oracle Home demo schema. Okay, now our entry schema. So as I told you, OE underscore main dot SQL is the starting point, and that is the starting point of installation of our entry schema. Okay. Okay, now I am logging to our cell PDB uh, pluggable database as a DBA. So I can able to log in directly from SQL plus. So at OE underscore main dot SQL. So it will ask for uh, some input parameter. Please provide the parameters. So password for OE and default table space will be users. Temporary table space will be temp specified pass for HR which means that HR schema must be already installed okay note this point specified password for sys okay so next specify the directory path for data files next uh, writable uh, log file next provide the version next provide the connection string so connection string I have provided as ORCL PDP okay Yes, so our render schema installation is successful. So 
so the script is optional only so basically account will be unlocked only anyway for uh, i am executing this for my purpose safety purpose so that i can log into anywhere okay uh, next new connection so in, i'm trying uh, in sql developer so first step i'm checking in sql developer whether i can able to log in as a oe user in sql developer or not yes i can able to connect as a oe user so and also i can able to browse the database objects uh, tables views indexes etc so order entry schema installation uh, in oracle database 21c enterprise edition is successful so make sure that you have made appropriate changes to sql files that is replace sub underscore cwd with the absolute path and if you want to remove the object ids in type square type uh, sql files means we can remove that 